Well, before Survivor, before Ozzy, before the term realty show, reality, well, it even existed. Well, MTV invented the concept by putting a group of strangers into a New York loft and taping their every single move. It was called The Real World. Yes, it was, and that was 12 years ago. Oh, Next week, The Real World Las Vegas begins, and News 13's Dave Malkoff has a sneak peek. This is the true story. Behind the true story. The Real World Las Vegas! My name is Trishel. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Cutoff, Louisiana. My house back home is really, really, it's really country and just like, not like anything like this. Just imagine living here four months in a suite at the Palms. It was a big shock to me. I didn't even really think that people actually lived here. That was life for the real world cast members. Did you guys show us, show us your room? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Are you your roommate? Yeah. Hey, good morning, real world. Uh, my name's Frank, I'm 22 years old. The guys lived in the triple. One thing that's, that's absent from the room since we've moved out of it, is a horrible stench. Hi, I'm Steven from San Marcos, Texas. I'm 23 years old. This is this is my bed right here. Uh, and and Alton. My name is Alton from San Diego, California. I'm 22 years old. It was cool. I mean, the first day, it was, we were just all really excited. And I just wanted to get to know him. And you know, we just had a lot of fun. Oh, this is the oh, oh my God. God. I was really nervous, you know, Sin City, and I'm from the South, you know, I go to college in the Bible Belt, you know, Mississippi. Holy cow. The waves keep on crashing on me for some reason. Talk about trial by fire, a Las Vegas suite and instant TV fame. But your love keeps on coming like a thunderbolt. There's cameras everywhere you Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> and for some reason, they're pointed at our bed. What? No privacy here. Cameras are everywhere, even pointed at the frosted glass showers. And if you're tall enough, you can see down there. But isn't it a tradition that everyone just gets naked on the first episode of The Real World anyway? Mm -hmm. Tradition? <laughs> I don't know what kind of episodes you've been watching. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the hot tub naked. We're just chilling naked in the hot tub. It's all good. Next thing we know, here comes all three guys with towels around their waist. <laughs> I don't know what kind of episodes you've been watching. Yeah. Going to it with an open mind and just some popcorn because it's going to be a good ride, good show. <laughs> It's going to be a good show. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. And we have another uh, story tomorrow night. Yeah, I can't wait to see this. I bet you can't. I can't wait. <laughs> All right, from Contact 13 tonight. Covering Southern Nevada, this is News 13. The Real World Las Vegas starts next week on MTV. It's the original reality show. That's, that's right. MTV invented the format 12 years ago. I can't believe it's 12 I remember years. the first one. I do, too. Yeah, everything that happens on that show is real but you still don't see all of it. That's right, News 13's Dave Malkoff has been up to the real world suite in the Palms. Right. And tonight he shows us what you won't see on TV. This is the true story, behind the true story. The real world, Las Vegas! Baby, yeah! People, gangsters and pimps and people. Okay, you've seen the TV show, but when the real world comes to Las Vegas, the world really seeing it all? It just fell apart like everything else in Frank's life. This is the confessional. This is the notorious confessional. The confessional is kind of like a video diary. Each day the cast members are required to spill their guts to a tiny camera in a tiny room. This is as pure as it gets in here. <laughs> this is what's in the real world refrigerator. Leftovers, yeah. <laughs> more in here that we never see on TV. For example, uh, there's the bat phone. That's a secret phone that rings every day at the crack of dawn. Every day when you wake up, you need to be mic'd up so they can hear you. So you have enough time to wake up, stretch, rub your eyes before this thing's ringing. You pick it up and say, hello. And they're like, Frank, you're awake. Come out in the hall and get mic'd up. So you're like, all right. My name is Arissa. I'm 22. I'm from Boston. Arissa, the party girl, liked it so much, she's now living here. You know, maybe I'll tone it down a lot more once I get here and say, okay, I live here in a different situation now. It's all about to change again. Here comes Spain. Uh, hey, I don't know what it's going to be like if people start recognizing me or anything like that. I've never gone through that, so I hope I'll be able to deal with it. I don't understand the concept that people are going to know me, but it's like they're going to come up to me and they're going to be like, oh, remember when you did this, this, and this? And I'm like... Yeah, and who are you? It's funny because uh, we really weren't living in Las Vegas like the residents live in Las Vegas. It was, we lived like the people who vacation in Las Vegas live. And it all goes on the air next week. The Real World Sweden Palms. I'm Dave Malkoff, News 13, inside Las Vegas. Nice place to stay, huh? Not too bad at all. All right, coming up next in sports, could